Greetings, Series 7 test takers. This is the Series 7 Guru. I'm coming to you from my studio here in fabulous Las Vegas. It's a Thursday, so that means Thursday tonight is our premiere night, 4 p.m. Las Vegas time. We'll be doing a 66 uh, practice test, <laughs> excuse me, with a live Q&A chat. For any questions you have about that premiere or any FINRA or NASA exam. Here is the uh, requested question. I would remind you that in the Reddit, in the search bar, you can put in, for example, this uh, strategy, whatever you're looking for. And a lot of times a video will appear, uh, magically appear on the Reddit. I put a lot of videos on the Reddit that I don't put on the YouTube channel because, you know, there's already 200 plus hours of uh, content there. And I'm trying to keep it as uh, tight as we can organization wise. So there is an option playlist with over 20 videos on options, all free. And uh, small ones, large ones, medium ones, uh, you can, uh, it's a buffet, take what you like, leave what you don't. All right, so let's get on with this one. An investor uh, buys 100 shares of BFD. Now, first thing as a test taker is when you see the 100 shares, you got to kind of stop, take a strategic pause and say, okay, I'm not looking at an option strategy. I'm looking at a stock plus an option strategy. And the stock always dominates. So when we buy that stock, we are bullish. If we weren't bullish, we wouldn't be buying the stock. So let's just put that there because you want to stay focused on the stock. You can't let the tail wag the stock dog or you're going to be in all kinds of uh, trouble. So let's uh, put that there. We're going to put stock dominate. So let me get a different color. Let me get a different font. So stock dominates. And that means we're uh, bullish. So, uh, and then it says you buy one BFD June 55 put at two and a half. Now, again, uh, our time is a buffet. Take what you like, leave what you don't. But I always like to underneath the options leg, say, what am I looking at? I'm looking at a choice to sell the stock at the strike price. XP means strike price. And so I always like to get that going. Now, you know, the key here is if you don't know the stock dominates, you're going to say, oh, it's a put. I'm a bear. My break even is 52 and a half. My max loss is the premium. My max gain is breaking to zero. No, no, no. You know, this is a choice to sell stock I actually own. And so what I'm doing here is a protective put, a put that is protecting the stock position to distinguish it from a speculative put. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do, a lot of ways to go again, but what I like to do is I like to track money. So I'm gonna set up my T and on the T, I'm gonna have dollars out versus, well, let's do this in black. Let me get a different color here. So we're gonna have dollars out versus dollars in. By the way, if you get good at contract specifications, particularly puts, you're not fumbling around, that's a choice to sell the stock. And you can track money, you're going to get 100 on options. Because at that point, there's really no way to fool you. So I'm going to be using uh, dollars out. This is called the setup. And, you know, some people like to think of that as a debit. Some people like to think that as a minus. You know, whatever floats your boat. And boom. And this is going to be money in. I like to use money in. Some people like to use credit. Some people like to use a plus sign. Again, whatever floats your boat is a fine. Mainly if you come up with the right answer. All right. So uh, we're going to pay uh, 58 for the stock. So that's going to be dollars out for the stock. We're going to put that in there. And uh, then we buy the protection and we pay for the protection two and a half. That's what we paid for the uh, protection. So we're out of pocket 60 and a half. 58 for the stock, two and a half points for the option. Now, this is the one time and the one time only that we have a put and we're not subtracting it to break even. The breaking here is going to be the stock cost plus the premium. 
And the reason we're plussing is because this is not an option position, right? So ultimately, I'm out of pocket 16 and a half. Now, uh, I have the choice to sell anytime I'd like at the strike price. Whoop. So that's kind of nifty. I put in a floor. Options are all about floors and ceilings, floors and ceilings. And so here there is a, a floor at the strike price, which is 55. Anytime I want, I can exercise my put and sell that stock at 55. They didn't ask me what is the maximum loss. The maximum loss would be when I exercise my put. I'm a bull. I'm wrong. The stock goes down. Anywhere below 55, I'm going to exercise the put, and I will lose five and a half points. But they asked me, what's the max gain? I don't have to sell if I don't want to. So if the stock is, you know, at expiration, 70 or 80 or 90 or 100, there is no ceiling. So, you know, we put in a floor at uh, 55. Whoop. Uh, let's put that there. But we uh, still have no ceiling. So the floor is at 55. But there is no ceiling, kind of a nifty kind of a thing, right? So I have unlimited gain potential. So the answer to this question is I have maximum gain is unlimited. Uh, the break even would be 60 and a half, as you see there, stock price plus premium, 60 and a half. And the maximum loss would be when I exercise the put. So if I exercise that put, that's my protection. That's my floor. Anytime I want, I can get out of this position at 55. Now, uh, why do we do that? Uh, the reason we do a protective put is to have the ability to participate in a big price increase. This is kind of bueno, but not participate in a big price decline. Ability to participate in a big price increase but not participate in a big price decline. It's insurance. You don't buy insurance because you plan on filing a claim. You buy the insurance here just in case. Uh, big price decline. I'll uh, link to a little 15, 20 minute lecture I have on, on this uh, scenario. So let me just uh, put in here what the question was. The maximum gain is unlimited. Uh, the maximum loss. Let's put that in here. You know, be careful when you're uh, you're netting your your T. You know, my mantra is fire up the T. I just was tutoring somebody today, and she asked, "Should I do T?" I go, "Absolutely." There's no circumstance in which uh, firing up a T is not a good idea. But again, I'm just showing you here what that break even would be. We're out of pocket 58 for the stock. We're out of pocket two and a half points for the protection. So ultimately, we're out of pocket 60 and a half, and that is our break even. And so let's just put that there. And let's uh, label that. And then remember, this is kind of a nifty strategy because anytime you want, so the break even uh, is, uh, let's put that over here. We're going to put that down here. Break even is 60 and a half. Uh, strike price but equals uh, stock cost plus premium. So that's our break even. Let's uh, put that there. And then the uh, what else could we ask? Uh, we could ask you what is the max loss? And the max loss is when you exercise your uh, your stri strike price at 55, right? That's gonna be your maximum loss because that's your floor. Remember, you can do that anytime you want. So the maximum loss is the break even, the break even to the strike, the break even to the strike price. Remember XP means uh, strike price. There, boom, break even to the strike price. 
So in this case, uh, maximum loss is going to be break even, which in this case is 60 and a half to the strike price, which in this case is 55. Five and a half points or $550. Okay, so I hope that was helpful. Uh, you're going to get more covered calls than protective puts, uh, but stock plus options is testable. So, you know, you should have a pretty good handle on it. This is the one time, one time only. It's not put down. It's not strike price less. So here we're out 58 for the stock. So let's just do a quick review. Uh, quick review. Boom, boom, boom. Let me get my clear up the slide here. So uh, we paid 58 for the stock. We paid two and a half points for the protection. So we're out 60 and a half. That's our break-even stock cost plus premium. We don't have to sell if we don't want to. There's no ceiling. So our max gain, answer the question, is unlimited. There's a floor at 55. Max loss is when we exercise our, our put. If the stock is fit, lower than 55, we're not going to sell in the open market. We're going to exercise the put. So that means worst case, we're out 60 and a half. We can stick it to somebody at 55. So our worst case is that we're going to lose uh, the break-even to the strike. And boom. And we do this to have the ability to participate in a big price increase, but not participate in a big uh, price decline. Okay. So remember, inch by inch, Series 7 is a cinch, yard by yard. Series 7 is hard. And I'll see you for the next uh, explication.